As Pakistan descends deeper into crisis, is the country moving towards democracy or martial law? Ajaz Ahmed, The Real News Network's senior news analyst, speaks with Asma Jahangir, chair and founder of the Human Rights Commission of Pakistan. The Human Rights Commission took a very strong position on his qualification to run for the presidency and well, so on. Let me tell you that the Human Rights Commission was the only organization that actually denounced the takeover of the military when Musharraf came in. And that had nothing to do with Musharraf. It had everything to do with the principle. You know, and what has bothered me, and not myself, but many people, particularly in my, our country, is that post September 11, there is so much lip service to democracy. But where the West is concerned, they have supported tin pot dictators like Musharraf and even built them up as though they are great Einsteins and uh, you know, Democrats of this world. Having forgotten of the number of people who have been tortured, number of people, hundreds, who have disappeared and now reappeared after having been tortured, people who have been killed, extrajudicial killings, political party decimated, space for civil society shrinking, role of intelligence agencies, everyday harassing people, everyday terrorizing people, and yet they define that regime to be a liberal regime. And now, now it appears, and in fact the, the parties concerned themselves have at times said, that it is the United States which has arbitrated an understanding and something of a deal between President Musharraf and Benazir Bhutto. What do you think of this whole process? I don't think anybody is denying that anymore. Right. Only time will tell uh, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. In my own view, uh, I believe that the United States possibly now has to look ahead. Certainly bringing Benazir back to Pakistan was a very welcome thing. We do need her back. We do need all political leadership back. But I do not think that there can be a reconciliation in Pakistan with Musharraf in the midst. And I do not think that Musharraf is going to play it clean. And one of the indications of it is the recent bomb blast at the arrival of Benazir Bhutto. And his him, himself saying that she should postpone it. And then his ministers going on record saying there can be a suicide bombing, there can be a suicide bombing. Whenever there was a chief justice demonstration or a rally, we were always told there will be a suicide bombing. But when they have a rent a crowd of their own, that when Mr. Musharraf addresses them, there's no question of a suicide bombing. I mean, for example, when he won the sham election of the president, there were celebrations and everybody was dancing around. So, you know, I am very skeptical. Why are the suicide bombers only conveniently waiting to target those people that are so anti the government? So, I mean, you know, there is something to think about there. Well, I was very struck by the fact that when Benazir Bhutto came to Karachi after upon her, her arrival, in her very first speech, actually, she said that we know that there are senior retired officers of the Pakistan army who are trying to kill us. But she knows, like all of us, it's an open secret in Pakistan. What do you think are the prospects that Musharraf will take refuge in a state of emergency or a martial law? Well, I, I think that Musharraf will do exactly as the Americans have told him to do. And what emergency? There is already emergency for all purposes. <laughs> I mean, you can formally have emergency declared, but it's not going to make any difference. In a way, people have said in our country, well, let them bring in martial law. Because in any event, when you oppose We are already them, living under yeah, something I mean, now law. we are not arrested under martial law orders. But people are being picked up and disappear. And nobody is there to answer. They say we are not accountable. So, I mean, you know, he will bring in martial law. He can bring in whatever he wants. The bottom line is, he has no respect of the people. He has lost moral authority. He never has leg legitimacy. 